Hey guys, so today I'm going to be going over Poison Ivy, and this look was inspired by Made You Look by Lex, um, this whole leaves part, and then I just kind of did my own thing up here. So I'm going to link her channel below, or right there, so you guys can go check her out, because she's literally amazing, she's my favorite makeup artist and a huge inspiration, so before I keep on going, going on and on about her, um, so yeah. So, um, basically, the first half of this is just the face makeup, and then I'm going to go over the body painting. Um, so, yeah, keep watching. Okay, so I already primed my face with the Makeup Forever HD Primer and also applied my foundation. I'm just going in with Faint from the Naked Basics palette to contour, and then going ahead with my CoverGirl Concealer Stick to highlight the bridge of my nose and my cheekbones. And I'm just going to set that with a tart loose powder and light medium beige. Just blending out whatever I contoured, going back in with the Meiju Look contour brush. And then with the Meiju Look blush brush, I'm going to apply Blissful by Tarte. I'm going ahead and highlighting some more just because the blush drowned out a lot of the light. Blending some more. Blend crazy. Wow, I'm blending a lot. <laughs> okay, then with the Urban Decay Anti Aging Primer, I'm gonna go all around my eye just so the colors stick and are more vibrant. And I'm also gonna contour the sides of my nose with Faint, also on, in the Naked Basics palette. And I'm just going in with the NYX White Eye Base before I apply my eyeshadow. And this is from the Wind Mayron palette, and it's the green color. And then I'm gonna apply the yellow one, my inner two thirds of my eye lid. <laughs> I'm just gonna blend those two colors together and go past my crease. Blend those upwards, also with a fluffy brush, bring them up. I'm also you can, using like a really bright green from Sephora, I forgot what it's called. And I'm also gonna Highlight my brow bone with Venus from the Naked Basics palette and blend that. Same thing with my inner corner. I'm gonna highlight it and then just blend it in. I'm gonna cut my crease with a matte black eyeshadow. I'm using one by Sephora. And also gonna blend that upwards with a fluffy brush. Also adding a brown matte eyeshadow and blending that upwards too. And then line your bottom lash line with a matte black eyesh bleh, eyeliner. Do that at the top and also with a liquid liner, just so you get a cleaner, sharper look. It's poison ivy after all. And with the Made You Look Dome brush, I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit. And then I'm gonna line my waterline with a NYX eyeliner in green papaya. And then with red eyeshadow, also from the Mayron Wind Palette, inner two thirds of my lash line, bottom lash line. Just curl your lashes and then go in with mascara. I'm using um, Ultra Black by Physicians Formula Organic Wear. I'm going back in with that pencil to make the green a little brighter and do the same thing on the other eye. Then go ahead and map out where you want your first leaf to go on your forehead. I wanted mine on my forehead too. <laughs> so, with dark paradise paint, dark green paradise paint from the Mehron Basic Palette. And I'm also gonna be using the Tropical Palette, paradise paint, the medium green, or the darkest green in that palette. And then the lighter green in the middle. Just go ahead and play around with the colors. I usually like to keep the lighter one in the center. And I'm just gonna outline that in black. And shade the edges with a matte black eyeshadow. Pick where your light source is coming from. Mine's be, gonna be coming from top, from the top, and then just shade accordingly. If you're not comfortable using black, I'd recommend going with a darker green. And I had a two leaves beside that big one on my forehead, and I'm just gonna go and repeat the whole process in my chest area.
Oh yeah, I'm wearing my glasses here because I'm practically blind without them and I wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing, so excuse that. <laughs> I'm just gonna map them out. Instead of with an eyeliner this time, I'm going directly with the green from the Mehron Basic Palette. I'm just choosing where I want my leaves to go because it'll be easier to blend them in later. I just went with black for the first, oh look, lovely hands. <laughs> I, was, I just went in with the black uh, for the one on my forehead because it would be more precise. I could just outline these later. Make them go upwards, I'd recommend, and then the ones on the edges, I'd make them go to the side, just falling down. And just paint those in with the green color in the Mehron Tropical palette. I'm using a variety of greens here, and then going in with the black Paradise paint, and then an artist, the thin artist brush, and just outlining those thinner towards the top, obviously, because there's more light going towards those. And then I'm just adding sh the shadows that the leaves are casting, if they were actually like above my skin. I'd recommend just don't outline your leaves with gray, just simply don't do that because it wouldn't look good. Just try to imagine where the shadows are gonna be and that's where you're gonna fill them in. and just create a little vine and my camera actually turned off where I finished this, but you'll see it in the end. And then with the red paradise paint, I'm just gonna go in and fill in my lips. And then I'm just gonna outline those with black, black matte eyeshadows. I don't really have any lip products, so I'm just going in with face paint, cause it still works. Just outlining that. I don't know what I laughed at. <laughs> and there you have it. Watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and again go check out Made You Look because she's literally amazing and literally just I love her. Live long and prosper. Bye!